In part one, we covered the first two tabs of the control panel. To continue, let's go to the third tab on the menu, which is the advanced section. This section offers specialized cutting options, such as controlling cutting order or cutting direction of your job. An important option here is the optimized cutting order. If you select none, the software will choose what order it thinks is best to start cutting. If you choose speed priority, the software will calculate the most efficient way to cut the job faster. Then, there is restrict media movement for a uniform order of cutting, generally from left to right or right to left. Next is the options, which will we come back to later. Let's continue down to step size. Here, you can adjust the step size which determines cut quality. Let's set that to 0.01. This setting gives you the finest cut quality. Next menu tab is Weed Line. In this section, you can add additional weed borders. This is useful if you're cutting a lot of vinyl jobs that are a challenge to weed. Then you can add extra weed lines here. So this dotted line right here would be the additional cut line. Just a little weed line. You can adjust either horizontal or vertical weed lines as needed. The next tab is Matrix Copy. Here, you can add multiple copies of your cut job in a grid layout. Below, you have X spacing and Y spacing. Here you can adjust the spacing in between the X direction, which is up and down. Here you can adjust the Y spacing. The preview shows the grid change as adjustments are being made. Note that Matrix Copy is different than Repeat Job. Matrix Copy creates multiple copies in a grid in the preview, then the cutter reads them as a single cut job. Here, under the Media Size tab, you see that Repeat will cut multiple copies of a single job, as shown in the preview. If we set two jobs, the entire job will cut twice. Matrix Copy duplicates art within a single job to give you more control of your layout to maximize efficiency in your workflow. The next tab is Registration Marks. There are no registration marks here, so it's grayed out. If there were registration marks, you would have the option to use registration marks or not. There are other settings here, but we'll cover those later. Next menu tab is Tiling. If your cut job is larger than the cutting plotter can cut in a single pass, then you set the options to tile automatically or cut in sections. Additionally, in this section you have several settings to custom configure how you wish to tile the job. Finally, there is the plotter information. Here you will find the machine model number, the firmware version that's on the machine. This is the boot version and the serial number of the machine. And then if you have a unit ID, that would be shown here. Another option that is only available on the FC9000 is the repeat crosscut. You can use this as a sheet cutter. You enter the number sheets you need and the cutter will cut accordingly as separate sheets. At the bottom right are some options on sending your job. The first one is Send to Cutter. The software will send the job directly to the cutter. Send to the Data Link server will send the job to a server where it will wait in a job key for later cutting. This is set when you are using the barcode function for different jobs cut at the same time. Last is Save to File. When you click on Output, the software will save the job to a file on a network drive or thumb drive. When you want to cut the job later, all you have to do is insert the thumb drive or access the file saved on a network hard drive. For more information about operation and specifications, please refer to the Cutting Master User's Manual.